Hello, this is Martin Chuck for Revolution Golf. I'm the inventor of the Tour Striker Training Club, and I'm here at the Raven Golf Club in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. I want you to come down here and see me sometime for a golf academy. I've got a little tip for you today based on your feedback and comments from the previous tips. We're going to do some slow mos and some down the lines. I really hope it helps you out. Everybody said, How do you sequence your downswing? So let me share my thoughts with you and what I do to sequence my downswing. You can see I've got this little uh, dowel rod on here, this aiming stick hooked up via some rubber band just to really illustrate the sensations I feel are really important for you to sequence your swing effectively so you can have that downward strike arrive on your left side and really strike the ball consistently and powerfully. So let me hit a shot for you and I'll tell you what I'm trying to feel. So I've got a little six iron here and I've got my aim line and I'm trying to have my hips matched up with this one on the ground. Now when I hit this shot, what I want to feel is these hips work parallel to the target line, my baseline, that line on the ground, before there's an abrupt rotation to the target. What that's going to help me do, it's going to help me transfer my hands into a position so I can have slight forward lean, downward strike, and really hit the golf ball with some sizzle. So let's hit a shot for you. Okay, that was a pretty nice strike right there. Now my feelings, and I think can really help you, is to have that sense that that belt buckle can travel down the target line just a little bit. It helps get your weight more established into your left foot prior to your hips rotating to your finish. So let's take a look down the line. Okay, what you saw down the line, it's so fast how incrementally these hips have this little bit of lateral shift prior to that pivot. So when you're hitting little shots around the greens and you're doing all these little things and you want to hit that tight little draw out there rather than that slice, it's imperative that you get this belt buckle to work closer to the target. You can see my weight establishes onto my left foot, then my arms can really have some nice extension up into a full finish. So again, here's a face on for you. My hips are nice and parallel with that baseline, my target line. So there's a crisp strike. Let's review that. The backswing, we're, gonna feel, we're not going to sway around here. We're not going to feel like we're moving the hips laterally in our backswing. We're going to coil it up, and you can see how I let this stick coil against my baseline down there on the ground. Now on the downswing, I'm going to feel my weight get into my left foot and let this stick work left. You can really see how that separates my knees. There's my lateral move good groundwork right there, good footwork prior to my pivot. What this good footwork and hip work allows me to do is it lets me get my hands into a place when the club wants to release, I've got that downward strike and forward lean. Let's hit one more shot. So sequencing the downswing, my weight's 50-50. The ball is played center left. I feel as though my weight really steps into my left foot as my first move. Step into my left foot, lateral slide as far as I can do it, and then the pivot. Let's watch this one more time. Okay, there's a good strike. So for everybody at Revolution Golf, this is Martin Chuck signing off Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, the Tour Striker Golf Academy. Post your questions and comments below. I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks for watching.